All right, so the next part of our rubber band cards, um, I've let my wheels dry all night. And so what we're gonna do is, you are gently going to remove the tape from your tire. The glue is nice and dry, so everything is sticking together. And something that I recommend, and again, this is one of those things, if you have access to it, great. If you don't, it's all right. It's not really a big deal, but um, I like to take a little bit of sandpaper and sand the edges of the tire. So if there's any like sharp points um, from where I cut or maybe some glue that ran off on the edge and now it's like a sharp point that's on the outside. I wanna use some sandpaper and I wanna sand those areas down, okay? So again, the smoother the roll that we can get our tire, the better and the longer that our car is going to go, okay? So removing tape, sand the edges, and then I'm actually gonna take my tires outside and I'm gonna give them a coat of paint just because I have it available. So I'm gonna make my tires black. Um, and then I'll come back in and show you how to um, get started on your axles so that the tires are attached to the car, okay? All right, so my tires are dry. Um, to get started with that process, I'm gonna take one back tire and I'm gonna take one front tire, okay? Um, I need two of my three hangers. I wanna take the weakest hanger that I have and then I wanna take one of my strong hangers. You're gonna use your wire cutters and trim the straight end of the wire hanger off. So these parts you can throw away, you don't need those, and you're gonna keep the straight parts. I wanna find the center of one of my circles. You don't have to measure it or anything like that. Um, just kinda eyeball it, make sure you're pretty much in the middle. And uh, very gently, you are going to take your hanger. The weakest hanger is going to go with your front tire and you're gonna very gently wiggle that and push that through so that it comes through the other side, okay? So push that, wiggle it around so that it comes through the other side, okay? So like that. I wanna take my pliers and I am going to take the very tip of that hanger and I'm gonna bend it over and make what we call like a little shepherd's hook. And then I'm gonna push it back through my tire. And that is what's gonna keep the tire on the axle. So that way the rubber bands can turn it. Put that on there like so, okay? So it's bent down in there. And it looks like that. Okay, now this is the part that gets a little bit messy. I told you you're gonna need a little bit of yarn. You are going to take about six to eight inches of yarn, cut that off, and you're gonna tie that onto your axle, like so. Okay, so you're gonna tie that on there. And you wanna take your white school glue and you are gonna put white school glue in the palm of your hand. Okay, like I said, you're gonna get messy. And you wanna make that string completely coated with school glue. Hold on to your little knot that you made and you're gonna wrap that string around and around and around. And you wanna push that little ball of gluey yarn right up against the tire on the bottom side. So it's gonna look like that. Okay, so just kind of push that up there. You want to make sure that your tire is perpendicular to the wire hanger. So it should look like a T, 
okay? Your tire is the top part of the T, your wire hanger is the bottom part. And then you're gonna want um, some sort of box or something that you can lean your um, hanger against so that it will sit up like this and dry and just keep an eye on it and make sure that it's nice and straight. So I'm gonna take my box and I'm actually gonna like poke it through here so that way it will just sit down inside of the box and then I can let it hang out and dry. I gotta make sure I get this part off of there. There we go. All right, I'm gonna put that in there like so. And that's what that's gonna look like. Okay, so I'm gonna do my other tire now. You let them sit up and dry overnight. And then tomorrow I'll show you how to put them through the body of your car and we'll do the other side, okay? All right, so here's my setup. The box is here. I put the hangers through and then they just sit down on the bottom and then that allows my tire to be upright. Again, just check and make sure that your tire, the top part is the T, the hanger um, is the straight part of the T. Uh, you wanna make sure that that stays um, perpendicular there, okay? Um, and then one thing I want you to add to the top, I have my back tire sitting here. You wanna take your glue and at the top where your hanger is hooked around, you're gonna put a big old blob of glue right there so that you're sealing everything together, okay? So you need one night for all of that glue to dry um, and then I'll show you how to put them through tomorrow.